So I have work up at the Ogden Museum. I, you didn't know about that. There's a large piece from a uh, prospect biennial that was a while ago. That's, you know, if you happen to be in New Orleans. And also coming up in September at the Art Museum of Southeast Texas in Beaumont, I'm going to have a solo show, which will be some of these and some new works. So. Um, the way that I got into all this, I, I've been sewing my artwork for 30 years, maybe a little more actually, and how I began was I was a painter and I started using objects. And I was an acrylic painter, so any of y'all that paint know that that's basically like a plastic glue, really. <laughs> and so you can stick stuff into it. So when I started, I was looking for ways to... Um, create textures in my work, and but soon I got more interested in the objects than the paint. I thought the objects related to real life, you know, and, and maybe acrylic paint was a little bit not related to anything. <laughs> so I, I made the decision that that was going to be part of my, my that was going to be my vocabulary. Objects were going to be my vocabulary, and I needed a way to connect everything together. So I chose sewing because I had been doing it since I was a little kid, and my aunts and my grandmother and everybody sewed, you know, so it just was a natural thing to do. Um, and these pieces, conceptually, when I first started making these sort of physical paintings, I was thinking of them as screens or like filters because I was, I was thinking, and I still think, that people see what they expect to see a lot of the time. So maybe, you know, maybe you're born in, with a, you know, tabula rasa, and you don't, you have a, nothing, you're not affected by it, you know, you have a clear, open idea about everything. But soon all the, your parents' beliefs become, like, stuck to this filter, you know, that you're seeing through, and then, you know, all of your decisions, and even if you reject your parents' religion, or you reject your parents' politics, or, or you're still sticking stuff to that filter, so, and so I, and it's worked out that way that I thought maybe as you get older, it, it gets more dense, you know, my pieces have gotten a lot heavier over the years, so I guess maybe my filters are really full, <laughs> but um, that's the way that I, I've always seen these pieces. Now, a few years ago, so for a while I was using a lot of children's toys, you know, working through all my issues. I have a couple of kids, <laughs> but I was working through, you know, my young time, just everything, you know, and um, I started thinking a few years ago, well, so everything in this room is like within nine or ten years. Most of it is within five years. So the, the earliest pieces in the room are on the end over there, and they have the most toys and stuff. So right after that, I started thinking that I, I wanted to make work that was like even more abstract. So I wanted to use fewer object objects and more linear objects, like um, electrical cords and rope and stuff that I felt like it would be a more direct kind of way of drawing. So that's why these, all these other ones have more lines and to, I hope, hopefully, feel more like a, a drawing to me. So my next part that I'm working on, which is not in this show, is actually going back to drawing and painting. I ha you haven't seen those yet, <laughs> but that's going to be at the Beaumont show coming up. Some of that will be in there. Those ones are five feet because that's as far as I can reach behind the piece on each side to sew, because I work on them on the wall. Like, this one's too big, obviously, so the middle part of this had to be done with curved needles. They're all sewn. There's no glue or anything in any of them. But, um... Like embroidery floss, like sewing. Embroidery floss, yeah, with big, really big needles and stuff. Thanks for being here. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Thank you. That was Sean Major, talking about her latest exhibition, So What? on view at the Galveston Art Center from April 22nd to July 9th, 2023. You can learn more about this exhibition and the Galveston Art Center at galvestonartcenter.org.